Hello everyone, welcome to another Roblox game development tutorial. Alright, so today we're going to make our animation work so that we can actually close our GUI as well. Or else right now it's just going to uh, glitch itself, um, even though our code works perfectly. Um, and I'll show you guys just real quick what kind of glitch uh, we can cause. Because right now if we click it, um, it's doing its open, it's sliding out going up and then sliding back down like changing its height and everything uh, but if I click menu it'll go up down close okay great it's invisible but now I click it and it's doing it again it never went back to being the size it should be to start out that's what we'll be fixing today but now there's several things we could do for our closing uh, we could Technically, we could technically make it just do the same thing in reverse, copying and pasting all this, changing some minuses to pluses and, min and pluses to minuses. We could do that. It'd be really easy, um, and it would still look good. Or we could do something more entertaining, and we could learn a little bit about closing it a different way, um, and I think that would be better. So... What we're going to do is right now, okay, it's up and everything, all of that. Uh, but what we're going to do is make it go down in size from the height, just go straight down, and then just slide back in. Just really simple, down, slide in. Uh, it'll only take two loops, uh, but it'll give it a less stale kind of feeling, like we put more effort into it uh, than just somebody copying and pasting. So, and remember guys, when you're making a game, Roblox game, 2D game with some other engine, or any kind of thing that you want people to use, you have to show that you put thought into it, or they're not going to put thought into using what you made. Uh, they're not going to put thought into, eh, maybe I should do this, or play this, or something. They won't. So, let's go. For i equals 1, now we know that it goes up, and it takes up half the screen with its height, and half the screen with its width. So for the first one, let's do 25 do. Make a quick end here, and we're just going to do script dot parent dot parent dot frame dot size equals oops equals script dot parent dot parent dot frame dot size minus udim2 dot new. And remember, we're doing the height first, so it needs to do zero 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 point uh, o two. Uh, because we're doing it 25 times, that means we need to divide the height by 20. Um, actually, hmm, where's our height? At? Recite's height is right here, so let's actually change it to 20. Uh, my bad. And let's change it to 225. Uh, that way it actually does match our resize height, so we don't go too far down. Uh, and then we're actually going to change it to be 1, or 10, sorry. And that means we double its speed change it to point zero four five and that'll make it really fast to close down and um, then we're forgetting one very very integral part here well first off the parenthesis and second our weight and then we're doing another for loop for i equals one this time we can uh, we can do twenty five do and this time it's going to be changing the width to be absolutely nothing so script dot oops dot parent dot parent dot frame dot size equals script dot parent dot parent dot frame dot size minus u dim two dot new zero point zero two zero 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 so on add our weight and add our end and now we are good to go but we actually eh, no hold on. You better scripters that might have noticed something, uh, you're probably cringing. Um, like, I would be cringing if I were watching this video, but I want to demonstrate the importance of something. Uh, I've probably demonstrated it before, but you can't stress this enough. So, um, let's click Menu. Okay, it's opening. That thing's still working. Let's close it. Where is it? it never did it well first off we have an error okay I can fix that yeah, a typo as well uh, that I didn't notice 
here on line 29, let's take out that extra E. I didn't even notice I put that, uh, but now it's gone. And now here's, you guys, the error wasn't everything. It didn't ruin our GUI completely. The frame just disappeared before we could see the animation, and that's what really ruined it. The error, okay, we will have noticed that later, but that's not what I was trying to point out. What I was trying to point out is the order of operations matters so much. And what the order of operations is, is the order of things that you do. What order do you do everything you're doing? That changes everything. It's like, okay, you could eat dinner. Uh, you could eat your steak, but if you don't cook it first, it's going to make you sick. So you have to make sure in the order of operations of you eating that steak for dinner, you have to cook it first. Okay, uh, so let's get this script that parent that parent that frame that visible. This is what's changing. This is what's making the invisible right from the start. It's before the animation, so you don't get to see the animation. So let's move this and paste it down here after the animation, and then everything will work. So now we can test it. Again, good job, Meta Knight. Uh, but now we can test it, and we can see it actually work as we want it to. Okay. And this is going to be pretty fun to uh, watch because we made this. We made a very stylish GUI and we know how easy it was. So hopefully this can make you guys feel better about making GUIs later on and not feel so scared by the math. So let's press menu. Okay, still opening fine. We didn't break anything. That's always a good thing, right? Close. Now we're all asking a problem, which I actually didn't think of uh, as I was making the video, but I knew would happen uh, when I theorized this at first, but I guess I forgot that. Um, and what happened was it shrunk, but it didn't go down. Uh, and that's easy enough to fix as well. We'll just go to this loop where we're moving the height, and we'll also add at the... Yeah, let's just do it here. Script that parent that parent that frame that position equals script that parent that parent that frame that position plus udim2 dot new and we'll add the exact same amount for this only we're adding it not subtracting it and that should fix everything and uh, let's just add our comments to make this easier on us resize height and move down resize width and now press F F6. I cannot talk today. I'm telling you guys. It, it, talking has not been easy. Alright, so now let's see if it's actually going to work well. Uh, which it should. I, I don't have any doubts about it right now. Um, yep, alright. Now let's click menu. Opening fine. Again, we didn't break anything. Uh, and now we can go close. And it's working just like I had said it would. Just like we want it to. So, you guys can all give yourself a round of applause. Great job. You uh, helped to make a good, good GUI for yourselves. Alright, until next time, uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like or dislike button. Corresponding to how you felt about this video. <coughs> Preferably the like button. <laughs> I'll catch you guys later.